long time listener, first time asker. I have an Asus RT Alpha X ray, that's AX 88U router in my apartment. I was thinking of moving to a mesh system because there are some spot. Some spots in here that Wi-Fi isn't ain't so good. So my question is, should I invest in on two Unify Express units and Light 8 PoE or something like that? I need to have six Ethernet cables to use with my TV, Xbox, Hue Bridge, Harman Kardon soundbar. I'm coming to your place, man. Sounds like you're wired for sound. Uh, Mac Mini server and Apple TV uh, for the future. Uh, this setup would cost me in Finland around 380 euros, but is it worth it? Uh, I could get something like the Asus RTAX 1800U for 68 euros and use it with my AX88U with a AI Mesh. Do you know is Asus AI Mesh any good? What benefits do I get with Unify, if any? And does it matter in Asus setup if the inferior router is first? It, it would be, question mark. Thank you for a great show, Callie. I, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's not Calais or something like that. It so. might be Calais. I, yeah. It could be a, a Swedish name, I, I think. is. We're going to Americanize it and butcher it right here. There you go. <laughs> yep. Proudly so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's actually a lot to to dissect here. Yeah. The the I haven't spent, I've used the Asus Mesh a little bit. I haven't spent a ton of time with it. We do have, there are a lot of you out there who use it and love it and and have nothing but good things to say about it, uh, which, it, and it might be the simplest way to go because you're going to have your, uh, you, you get to use the tech that you've already got. So you, you don't have to like decommission something and buy all new stuff. So like, that's where I would go as far as putting the inferior router first. I, I think your reason for that, and this is based on a follow-up conversation, was based on the number of ports available and needing more ports in one location versus another, and that sort of defining where the inferior router goes. You can get a switch, a network switch, an inexpensive network switch, to mitigate that and then put the more powerful Wi-Fi access point with its router attached wherever that needs to be, I, I think you're going to be okay with that in either in, in either way, right? Like you might want the more powerful router as the first or the more powerful device as the first thing because it's going to be handling all of your routing and sort of the heavier lifting. And then the other inferior one could be your, uh, your access point, your satellite, and then just hang a switch off of that so that you can have more Ethernet devices. And that's not unique to ACES. You could do that with any router that like there there are a lot of people with eros who hang a switch off of you know the one or two ethernet ports on the eero depending on which model it is and give themselves lots of ports on essentially a wireless link which is which is really nice because that way think about this if you've got you know let's say your uh, internet comes in on one side of the house and your tv is on the other side of the house so you put an Eero or any sort of mesh access, wire, wireless mesh access point over there, hang a switch off of it so that you've got plenty of ports. Now you plug your TV, your Apple TV, your NVIDIA Shield, and I'm loving the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, it's really the best Plex client that exists. Uh, you, you know, your Xbox, what, whatever you've got into the Ethernet ports, now they're not competing for Wi-Fi space. They're all just using the Ethernet into the Eero, and then the Eero's managing the backhaul, and it, it can wind up being a more efficient setup. So I, that's what I would do. That's the first part I wanted to unpack. 